recommend some daily deliverance prayers. There's a series of uh, short prayers, about five minutes every morning, called Auxilium Christianorum. A-U-X-I-L-I-U-M, Christianorum. Uh, say those prayers every day. That's a good way to start the day and to cast out any evil spirits. Hi, thanks for tuning in to another video on Armor of God. As always, let me start by saying thank you so, so much for your time, support, prayer, and hopefully you'll always learn something new whenever you're here. For this month of July, I've decided to give away this book by Domenico Agasso to three of you. Father Gabriella Morth, the official biography of the Pope's Exorcist. It's a book that's just recently released, and I think you guys are going to love this book, and all you have to do is simply comment on this video. I'll be selecting the three from the comments written here, so don't miss out. Anyway, let's get on to the video then. So people now ask me, well, uh, is it possible that the evil spirits will follow me? Yes, it is. Even though you've forgiven your, your sins have been forgiven, you, you've confessed the sins, uh, sometimes it gets a bit of a fight. Uh, they don't uh, give up easily. And some of you actually, and it was sad to say we've seen it happen, when some witches convert, the other witches uh, will uh, curse them. And so uh, there's a prayer on our app against uh, trafficking witches. You, you should say that prayer if you're being attacked. Uh, continue to say deliverance prayers, especially uh, prayers of getting rid of uh, spirits of divination, closing the occult third eye, any sorts of uh, prayers to lift curses against you and to cast out these uh, evil spirits of magic and witchcraft. For 15 years, the Mexican Luisa was a teacher of Feng Shui, a New Age variant of Chinese witchcraft dedicated to harmonizing supposed energy currents and spaces. It's all about things being placed the right way for good fortune and happiness. Gaina Allman called in Feng Shui consultant Kali Peters to assess her home. So what it's actually going to do is we're going to rebalance and re-establish the energy in your house, Gaina, so that you can optimize the uh, beneficial aspects of your life. And we, I will be using a compass. Kelly, how important is the entryway to the home? Extremely important. The entryway is where all the energy, or what we in Feng Shui call Qi energy, flows straight up the footpath into your home. Haunted by strange events, she soon learned that God had used another witch to bring her back to the faith. Luisa was born in a Catholic family, received baptism, communion, and went to a school according to her faith. A life that contrasted with the absence of religious life in her day-to-day -day as a Feng Shui instructor. It did not take long for her to take her first steps in the occult and the New Age. She started out with neuro-linguistic programming. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what is NLP. By the late 90s, we had refined the technique pretty sufficiently. We had gotten rid of the things that don't really work or that you wouldn't be able to prove scientifically. Really focused in on the things that were helping people get results. We developed a technique called mental and emotional release, which I'll talk about in another video. A technique specifically designed to help people let go of baggage and limiting beliefs. Healing and eventually became a feng shui consultant healing earth and houses. She was totally into the occult. In fact, she was one of the pioneers in introducing Feng Shui in Mexico and a successful teacher of this discipline. From the beginning, she was recognized as an excellent witch. She believed she was helping the people who came to her, but later learned that the opposite was true. You don't imagine that you are getting people into terrible things. You are consecrating the house and the people to the devil, she warns. For many years, success accompanied Luisa and the witches who followed her, but the more influence she had, the more that she felt like a failure. I earned a lot of money that I could never enjoy because the devil is in charge of taking it all from you and that you live in misery. Sometimes I didn't even have enough to eat. It was all for traveling around the world and perfecting the technique. The devil gave me fame and money and the demon took it upon himself to collect everything from me. Louisa, increasingly contaminated by what she believed to be negative energies, came to participate in a course to achieve clairvoyance, where through certain rituals she could obtain powers, see beyond reality, and access hidden knowledge. New Age means that we don't need more a savior in our life. I don't need any religion in my life. Why? Because I don't need any external God. What I need is only 
that I try to discover the powers that are in me and those powers are the God that I begin to adore. I was a witch and I was completely contaminated. When I hit bottom I stopped working, I suffered terrible things, and at three at night I felt that something was trapping me. I went to see thousands of witches, but I couldn't find anyone to heal me, she said. Devastated, Louisa asked another witch for advice and the witch recommended a recipe to achieve healing. She had to go to the church and ask that they impose the Gospels in Latin on her. She had abandoned everything related to her faith years ago, but when she entered the church again, Louisa remembers that she felt peace and warmth. It was something shocking. I couldn't stop crying and I was very happy. I saw that the Eucharist was a miracle, and when the Mass ended I was afraid to leave the church. God is really here. She began to go to Mass frequently, and later learned to pray the Rosary, but still she continued with her New Age practices, courses, and materials. A few days later I felt tingles again, and when I said that I belonged to the church, the demons began to attack. Horrible things happened to me. Only then did she realize that she had opened doors she never would have imagined. When I confessed, the priest sent me a rosary that I had no idea how to pray. Since then I prayed seven rosaries a day, I was in church all morning and I spent years with many exorcists. But little by little I began to have my heart in the church. She also remembers that during her conversion terrible things began to happen to her that she later understood as a form of the devil so that she would think that she did not have to continue down that path. After an extremely painful process detaching herself from a life consecrated to the occult and witchcraft, Louisa warns her followers not to start getting involved in this type of practice and is grateful for the reward of a God who does not let himself be outdone in blessings. Among others, the conversion of her family, the end of her spiritual attacks, and even the job she got when she was left without any dedication as a witch and feng shui instructor. Currently, she is dedicated to accompanying and advising families based on faith. If you have good friends or family members who are into the occult or doing uh, evil actions, uh, is that going to affect you? Well, there can be some. For example, we've seen cases where uh, in families, one member of the family uh, is doing some sort of a cult or witchcraft or something, and it, obviously they, they have a demonic spirit in the house, and there's, it affects people. Now, am I going to get possessed because of it? No, no, if I'm living in a state of grace, I'm not going to get possessed. But could I be harassed of it? Yeah. So which is why you want to uh, have the person stop doing those things. And you, of course, want to live a holy life yourself. So you're protected. Again, don't be too worried about Satan. We, we trust in Jesus. When we live a holy life, He'll protect us. There's an interview I'd like to share with you of the actor Tyrese Gibson, who plays the character Roman Pierce in the Fast and Furious movies that I came across on YouTube. In the interview, he warned against the devil normalization in the music industry, and I think it's good that someone from Hollywood is actually saying these things. I don't know what you think of Tyrese and the things he's done in the past, but the fact that he used this platform and his promotional tour on one of the biggest morning radio shows in Los Angeles that he was brave in speaking out about Jesus, that he was brave in exposing the devil in the industry says a lot. I feel like we're in competition right now because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on the main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, signs and symbols. And I said, you know what? We need to stop treating our relationship with Jesus like the little buddy that you talk to before you go to bed at night mm. and not be more vocal about all the things that God means to us and all of the things that God has brought us through. Because there's been a lot of moments that you didn't post about, mm -hmm. but yet you know, how did God decide to get yeah. me through this? Yeah, man. Amen. And yeah, they going above and beyond to promote the devil. And it's pissing me off mm -hmm. because they, they used to devil worshipers used to be real secretive, oh, like yeah. going down in the basement, this yeah, secret man. world. Although he did not specify any example, it is safe to assume that he was alluding to the Grammy Awards Gala in February this year. During the Grammy Awards, Ken Petras, a biological man who claims to be a woman, and Sam Smith, who was previously a gay and later came out as genderqueer and now claims to be non-binary, sang the song Unholy, which won Best Pop Group Performance with Plenty of Fire, Red Suits, Horned Hat, Cages and Dancers in Circle Like a Coven. And as with the trend of our videos recently, since a lot of you have requested this, I'm going to share a clip where Monsignor Stephen Rossetti will say a prayer for us all. Please take some time to listen, and this prayer is related to the subject of getting rid of all forms of occult and witchcraft from our lives. I've been asked by some people who are into witchcraft and magic, 
how to get out. You know, what are the steps I should take? And also, some are afraid that uh, perhaps some evil spirits will follow them. So I have some recommendations and some important steps to take. Number one, get rid of anything related to magic and witchcraft. Anything you bought in those New Age bookstores, uh, books, uh, crystals, get rid of it all. Uh, number two, uh, lift any curses or even blessings uh, that you gave or requests that you did in magic. In other words, in Jesus' name, lift them, reject them, renounce them, and cast them out. That's important to, to undo uh, what you've done in the past. So try to remember each one and by name, lift and nullify each one. Curses, blessings, whatever. And you might have thought they were blessings, but in the end, they really were curses. Uh, also, now, of course, go to confession, especially uh, for Catholics. Go to confession. That sacrament is very powerful. So go to confession often. And for those who are not Catholic, uh, make a good act of contrition and ask for God's forgiveness. And the Lord will forgive you, of course. I recommend some daily deliverance prayers. There's a series of uh, short prayers, about five minutes every morning, called Auxilium Christianorum. A-U-X-I-L-I-U-M Christianorum. Uh, say those prayers every day. That's a good way to start the day and to cast out any evil spirits. Have your house or apartment blessed where you live. I think that's important. You should throw some holy water around there. And uh, if, if, it's, if it's a source of problems, spiritual problems, then you might want to have a priest come and and bless the house. So people now ask me, well, uh, is it possible that the evil spirits will follow me? Yes, it is. Even though you've forgiven your, your sins have been forgiven, you, you've confessed the sins, uh, sometimes it gets a bit of a fight. Uh, they don't uh, give up easily. And some of you actually, and we've sad to say we've seen it happen, when some witches convert, the other witches uh, will uh, curse them. And so, uh, there's a prayer on our app against uh, trafficking witches. You, you should say that prayer if you're being attacked. Uh, continue to say deliverance prayers, especially uh, prayers of getting rid of uh, spirits of divination, closing the occult third eye, any sorts of uh, prayers to lift curses against you and to cast out these uh, evil spirits of magic and witchcraft. Uh, most importantly, uh, trust in Jesus. You know, make some new friends and trust in Jesus. Don't, uh, you really need to, to move on to new circles of friends, uh, those who are not involved in these sorts of things, and then trust in Jesus. Uh, sometimes, especially if you've been deep into the dark world, it can be a bit of a fight. Uh, and, and some of you will need the help of a priest. So, so if, if it, uh, you're being tortured by, by the evil spirits and other witches, uh, maybe you want to have a priest help you and pray with you. Uh, but I would say, in the end, trust in Jesus. Jesus is more powerful than the demons. Uh, sometimes uh, witches will say to me, no, 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 my, 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 my God, quote unquote, is really a demon. My God is stronger than yours. No, no, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is our Savior. So trust in Jesus. Trust in him. He's going to take care of you. It might be a bit of a rough ride for a while, but in the end, he'll cast them out. So I'm going to say now a short prayer for you all. Uh, first of all, I pray that the Lord will give you the grace of seeing the truth, of coming to Jesus, of rejecting all sin and darkness. I pray that the light of the Holy Spirit will shine upon you, casting out the darkness around you, that the blood of Jesus would wash over you and heal you, casting out evil spirits of divination, casting out evil spirits related to witchcraft and magic, closing the occult third eye, and lifting any curses. I lift any curses, packs, spells, seals, hexes, vexes, demonic blessings, voodoo, any occult actions uh, that are upon you. I ask the blood of Jesus to wash you clean, and I lift them all. And may Almighty God heal you, cleanse you, and set you free. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Well, that's all for now, and thank you so much again for your time watching this video. For those of you who'd like to support our works to cover the cost for the visual aids, editing software, and any free books we're giving away to the community, I left the link to our PayPal donation down in the description box below. Thank you in advance to all of you for your contribution, and until next video, stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless you.
Good job.